Assalamu alaikum, welcome to another lesson for uh, in grade 6 bio. In this lesson, we are going to learn about how we can take care about the environment. Here I have 10 different suggestions to take care of the environment. In previous lesson, we learn about recycling and all these things. We learn about making the compost. That was also actually with the purpose to save the environment. But basically, to save the environment, these 10 suggestions will be helpful. So let's begin with the first suggestion. The first suggestion is save the water. Saving the water is very important because if we will not save the water slowly, this resource will finish. There are different methods that can be used uh, to save the water. For example, uh, uh, here right now you can see two t different types of the taps are shown uh, in this diagram. Uh, you can see if of course uh, we will improve the taps uh, that can reduce the use of water. Instead of uh, taking a bath uh, if we will have a shower and use the shower it can save the water. If we will uh, leave the tap uh, dripping to leave a tap dipping can waste the water. So we can save the water by making sure that we close the tap in a proper way. Also by collecting the rain water we can save the water because the, in the way, uh, rain a lot of water will just go back to the earth again. So if we collect that rain water and bring it in to use for washing and other purposes so that can also save the water. Another way to save the water is uh, that instead of uh, canal irrigation, if we use the drip irrigation, uh, the water can be saved. The difference in the canal irrigation and drip irrigation is that in canal irrigation, uh, we actually water the earth uh, like in the flood method. Uh, open the water and it will reach slowly to the all parts of the earth. Instead of that, when we use the drip irrigation, in drip irrigation we use different pipes and then make shower the different places that sprinkle the water over the plants. So it can save the water also. Now the second suggestion eh, to save the environment is avoid plastic bags using the paper or cloth bags. Because if we will use these types of the bags, so what will happen? It will make the environment uh, polluted. It required a lot of energy to make them. Also, it's a problem for the uh, environment uh, to dispose them of. So it can create the problem also. So if we want to save the environment, we should avoid plastic bag using paper or cloth bags. Because if we will use the paper or cloth bags, so that, that can be recycled easily. But plastic bags cannot be recycled. Third suggestion is uh, reduce the carbon dioxide emission. Now carbon dioxide emission can be reduced uh, by reducing uh, uh, the use of the fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are used in cars, in different transports, in factories. So instead of that, uh, if we will look for the organic material instead of inorganic materials like foods instead of using the processed food that are processed in the factories, if we will use uh, the organic food that comes from the plants and trees, so that will be more better and it can save the environment. Also, it will reduce the use of energy. When the redu uh, we will reduce the use of energy, less carbon dioxide will be emitted in the environment. So it will save the environment. So number four is plant trees in your garden and in your community. If we will plant more trees and garden, it will consume the carbon dioxide and will provide more oxygen in the environment. So the environment will improve and will become more better. Number five is uh, save electricity. Saving the electricity actually will save the energy and there are different ideas by which we can uh, save the electricity. For example, uh, one thing is uh, switch off electricity when you are not using it. If you are using a particular thing then keep it on otherwise just switch it off. Uh, number two we can save uh, the environment by using the energy efficient devices. For example, right now on your screen you can see two different types of the bulbs. Uh, the one is uh, the old type of the bulb and this one is the new type of the bulb. So we can look over here that this this one is the energy efficient. These are the latest one. 
these are more energy efficient they save electricity so if we will use them instead of these old type of the bulb so it can save uh, electricity also if we will uh, uh, like right now the weather is changing and uh, it's coming the summer season so in home normally in one room one person is sitting in uh, use uh, one ac per person so instead of that if uh, uh, in our uh, luxury time when we are free sitting so if preferably we sit in one place uh, within the family so it can save the use of uh, electricity also also uh, we can uh, use uh, solar panels to heat the water because in winter mostly a uh, major part of the electricity consumption is to heat the water sixth method to save the environment is use uh, the organic waste uh, as a fertilizer like make the compost and then use that compost to grow the plants instead of putting them uh, as a litter and throwing them away if we use that one as a fertilizer so it can also save the environment the next method is ride your bike when you can because it is better for the environment and for the health instead of uh, using the car if we will use the bicycle or if we will walk it will uh, reduce the use of uh, fossil fuels and it will reduce the emission of carbon dioxide so it can save the environment eighth method already uh, reduce consumption of goods or energy uh, try to reduce the electronic devices use it will save the energy as much as we can reduce and number 9 is uh, reduce an object uh, to give it a second life mean recycling recycling can save lot of uh, energy and it can save the environment also because mostly products which are recyclable if we will throw them away that can create the environmental problems but if we will reuse them it can be helpful for the environment because they will not make the litter and will save the environment especially about the plastic bottle because the litter pollutes our environment plastic bottles make uh, the type of the litter which uh, which is not possible to uh, get consumed it don't uh, break into its original substances it take hundreds of years so if we will uh, put this litter or plastic bags inside uh, the environment we will throw it away so it will make the environment dirty it will make the environment smelly it can harm the animals because animals can eat them if they will eat them it can kill the animals also like every year uh, hundreds of turtles eat plastic bags uh, by mistake because they they mix it with the as they, they think that these are jellyfish we throw the plastic bottles in the water so they think that them as a jellyfish so as a result uh, these turtles will die because their stomach will be a stomach will be unable to digest these plastic bottles so ultimately if the turtles within the water uh, will reduce so it can also create the environmental problem so that's why we should reduce the plastic and uh, glass bottles as much as we can so these are all the few suggestion that we can use to take care of environment so next time inshallah uh, i will see you with a new lesson right now what you need to do is you can open uh, your learner book page 38 this page you have to read and all these points we already discussed will be there thank you